Ladies and gents, we have a new king of the cruise, Joy Boy, Sun God Nika, Gearfith, whatever you want to call him. He's here and he is him. He is the best legend of One Piece Treasure Cruise and today I'll be discussing his abilities and his potential uses in depth. This guy set a new standard for power in One Piece Treasure Cruise and I'm super interested to see what uh, Bandai does with potential units in the future. This is the true 8th anniversary of One Piece Treasure Cruise so get strapped in and let's go. So Gearfith, Monkey D. Luffy, mystical figure in white. Luffy is a Psy fighter free spirit as we all predicted and he does have Rush as well as X Super. Now some of you may not know what X Super is yet, it is a very recent mechanic in the game that only one character besides Luffy has which is the free to play Pirate King Adventures Roger character. That was kind of just a experimental unit, no one really actually is using him. Um, but this Luffy here, his X Super is going to be definitely seeing play in content. And I will discuss that after discussing his captain ability and his special. So Luffy's captain ability, free spirit enjoying the battle. So what he does is, I actually kind of predicted this, uh, I didn't actually make a video uh, when I actually talked about it. But I was thinking since Luffy dies in the anime before he goes Gilfith, maybe he's going to have some sort of revive mechanic in his captain ability. And here it is, he has a very similar ability to Legend Brook where he can revive one time per quest. So Captain of Luffy changes depending on the current form. So normal form is um, when Cruise HP is at zero, he's gonna recover from game over one time per quest and becomes gear five. Boost Psy and Free Spirit characters HP by 1.2x, a 5.5x attack boost for them, and every other character that isn't a Psy or Free Spirit character will still get a 4.5x attack boost. He will then um, reduce damage taken by 20% along with the HP boost, so very tanky. And he's also going to boost your chance of landing on Psy and Recovery orbs. And he also makes Psy and Recovery count as matching. And it also allows when you tap on a perfect on your Recovery orbs, it still heals your HP. So very nice healing regardless of whether, you not, whether or not you hit your perfects. Finally, you have some very nice utility. He's in a resist. 10 turns of special reverse and 10 turns of bind so if you have double gear 5 that's 20 turns of special rebind and also bind i really wish he uh, got out of despair and bind instead of special reverse and bind um it just makes a bit more sense and also it's very annoying when uh, in these captain abilities uh, you get despaired and then uh, you get inflicted with another debuff and then the captain ability utility doesn't work anymore so Despair would have been nice, but it's 10 turns of Rewind and Bind is crazy good. It's a very good amount of, uh, a very good debuffs. Special Rewind and Bind are very common and very annoying to get around. So that's awesome to have. And then, so that was his normal captain ability. This is what his captain ability is going to be when he's in gear 5th. So after you die, you get heal back to full HP and this is the upgraded captain ability. So what he does now is basically he's going to get a 0.5x uh, increase in his attack multipliers. So Psy and Free Spirit characters get a flat 6x attack multiplier and other characters that aren't Psy or Free Spirit get a 5x instead of a 4.5x in his normal form. In addition to that, it states that he's going to be able to hit his normal attacks through enemy barriers and defensive effects and that's for the entire crew. Uh, the trade-off is being uh, that you can't use any defensive effects, so all damage reduction threshold will not work when you're in gear 5. In addition to that, your HP will re be reduced by 10% at the end of every turn. So you gotta watch out for your HP, make sure you don't get too low. But either way, it's very strong, it's very rem reminiscent of Legend Carrot if you've used that in content. Being able to bypass barriers and defensive effects like threshold and damage reduction is super good and also it makes uh, barriers obsolete. Barriers are a very annoying uh, enemy buff that are pretty hard to remove. So there's a lot going on in this captain ability so basically you get uh, a crazy good captain utility of special reverse and also bind. You get a bunch of tankiness with recovery orbs 
damage reduction, a 1.2x HP boost. You also get the strongest flat 6x captain in the game of uh, to your sight and free spirit characters. And then uh, you also are able to bypass enemy defensive effects. So definitely the best captain ability in the game with one exception. Um, I do think there is a bit of an issue with this captain ability and that is there's no cooldown. So in speed farming content, I don't think this character will be used as a captain. However, in game modes such as Kizuna and Super Boss Kizuna, and also when uh, this character is a boosted unit with cooldown, then I do think this character's captain ability will be used very often, especially in Super Boss Kizuna, especially considering he has the X Super. Having this captain ability is immense, and I will talk about his X Super, and it definitely does set a new, uh, a new standard for damage. And also, that's without considering his special, which is also really, really good. So basically, with Luffy's captain effect, you want to die and then get to his gear fifth form, so that you have a six X captain, a uh, ability to bypass enemy defensive effects, and you can also get um, your special rewind and bind reduction. Although you don't need to be gear fifth to have the, the utility. So even if you are in his, just his base form, it's fine. And I may be thinking it's a bit annoying to try and uh, you have to die to get his good captain ability. But there is a way to get around it and that is in his X super. But first let's talk about his special reality altering powers. Um, so this special is going to deal 2 million damage to one enemy ignoring all defensive effects, defense and non-normal attacks deal one damage effect, so that's normal attacks only. And uh, yeah, let's stop there because I have a lot to say here. So this is a huge effect to have. Some may just look past this and say it's a, a nice amount of damage, but 2 million damage through normal attacks only, this is huge for treasure map. So in the past, we've had characters like this such as level no break 5 Marshall D Teach or the anniversary Dex Zoro Legend um, also 6 plus Roger but I don't think any of them have been a 2 million damage to one enemy I think we've had 1.5 million uh, now this is super good because in treasure map you can face the enemy in the mid map and basically you can have a wave killer team that can kill the enemy with like 1 or 2 specials on the final stage and it's very nice for speed it's a very ideal team to run. So in treasure map in the mid map, the bosses usually have only 1 to 2 million HP. Usually some of them have above 1.5 mil. So having Luffy to completely wipe them off the planet is so so good. And um, yeah, just for that, he's gonna be definitely used in treasure map. The only issue here is that his special is 15 turns of cooldown, and that's after expansion. So at f before expansion, I think he's only 16 turns, so that's a lot. And getting his special ready is gonna be super annoying. So not only does he not have cooldown in his captain ability, but his special is also 15 turns after expansion even so he's very slow and I, I think that's gonna make it very hard to use him but I still think he definitely will be used so it's definitely worth still picking up this character but if you are a speed farming uh, boffin such as myself then this character is gonna be a bit hard to use there's definitely still ways to get around it such as running Daruma the rare recruit as a, uh, a captain Basically, if you don't know, Daruma is a minus 4 cooldown captain, so if you run double Daruma, that's minus 8 cooldown as from your, just from your captain abilities alone. So you could run this guy under Daruma and get his special already, but it's still very annoying to work with. Um, so it's very interesting, but just having that 2 million damage through normal attacks only and defense is huge, and I definitely think he will be used for that. So let's move on to the rest of his special, which is what... Uh, we mostly are going to be using in content. So he's going to boost your color affinity of Psy and Free Spirit characters by 2.75x. If they are both Psy and Free Spirit, it's a 3x color affinity boost for them instead. So basically, uh, it's, it's going to be the same buff, but if your uh, character is both Psy and Free Spirit, they get a 3x instead of 2.75x. And then he's also going to change your block orbs into Psy, well every single orb including block into Psy, which works very well with his X super and his captain ability. Um, and then if a special is launched when you are in the gear fifth form, then you also get a 3.25x um, 
or boost as well. If they don't have, if they only are one Psy or Free Spirit, then it's only 2.75x, which is still really strong. So most of the time it's going to be a 2.75x color affinity and a 2.75x or boost. But if you do fulfill both the type and the class, it's a 3x and a 3.25x. So it's very, very strong. Having two of these um, huge buffs in his special is something that we haven't seen before. Most of these legends usually have like a really fat orb boost or a really fat attack boost or maybe a really big a color affinity boost. So having a legend that gives two of these huge buffs is definitely something new and very unique and it's going to see a lot of play in super boss. Finally, he's also going to reduce every enemy, uh, every beneficial effect on the enemy by one turn. So if the enemy has damage nullification or barriers or maybe a damage limiter, then this is going to be a very nice effect to have. Now that also includes damage reduction, threshold, defense up. So this will help us uh, get around the last turn of a debuff. So if the enemy per se has six turns of damage, uh, damage reduction, and your special only reduces five turns then you can use this special to get around the last turn but i think this will mainly be used for things like damage nullification or barriers that are very hard to remove with special effects so it's a very nice added effect it's not the main event of the special but it definitely will help and it will probably help uh, in certain circumstances to make sure you don't even need a, a support effect to get around the last turn of an enemy buff so amazing damage amazing orbs utility and also a very good damage dealing effect. We also can't ignore the fact that this Luffy character will have insane access to support effects since he is a Luffy character and his support itself is going to attach to all Psy and Free Spirit characters and um, now it's only characters that are both Psy and Free Spirit and it's going to boost their base attack by 15% of Luffy's. So that's quite a bit of attack if you do have this character. But unfortunately, since it's a very rare character, you probably won't get him to a very high level or break, and his stats will be pretty low. So I don't think his support will be seeing a ton of play, but if you do have it, it will be very nice for stats in uh, quests. No utility or anything from that. His support effects, I mean his uh, potential abilities are slot bind, only 10 turns, um, I don't know why it's not completely removing it, but it's fine, no one really cares about that. He has crit, meaning we're going to get more damage on this character when hitting a perfect. It's not guaranteed, unfortunately, but 8% is a nice amount of damage increased. And he also does have rush. So I will explain the rush, but I first will talk about his X super. So Luffy's X super. So this is a bit of an issue as well. Uh, he does have a lot of characters here that are easy to use on your crew. The issue with X super is that... It requires you to have three of these units on your crew to actually have the X super activated. So when any of these three units are on the crew, you get the X super special. So you can either run three Straw Hats, um, Law, Kid, Yamato, or Momonosuke. So of those, all those units I just said, you need to have three on your crew. So it's quite a huge requirement, even though the Straw Hats are very common characters. But it's, it's a very strong effect, so I can see why they're making it pretty difficult to proc it. But the X Super is going to change your attack multiplier of Psy and Recovery Orbs to 3x when they are matching. So that is another standard, a new standard set from this character. Not only his captain ability, his special, but also in his X Super. And what I mean is... 3x is the strongest multiplier for an orb we've ever had in One Piece Treasure Cruise. The highest we've had before this is the Wano Orb, which was a 2.5x multiplier. So, using this guy as a captain, not only will you use this X Super to get both Super Class and Super Type, which is really big on the damage side, but also it will allow you to get the strongest orbs in the game. And Luffy also resets all your orbs to Psy in his special, so you don't have to worry about getting all of your orbs set to Psy. So that's crazy, and then obviously um, you also get the uh, Free Spirit Super Class and the Psy Super Type. And finally, this is very big, he changes himself into Gear 5 form. So that is huge because remember I said earlier 
that it's a bit weird that you have to die first to get the stronger captain ability well don't fret you can just use this x super special and you will instantly be in gear 5 and get all of the benefits relating to this character so his x super is so good for damage and also for getting his captain ability uh, unfortunately there's no utility here so um, that's a bit of an issue with this character there's not really much um, like Okay, I can't complain actually, he specialized that removing enemy beneficial effects, his captain reduces two debuffs, so it's not much of an issue that he doesn't reduce anything in his X super, just provided he provides so much damage in this X super special. So crazy damage from his X super, his special and his captain ability, I'm glad they made it super easy to get into his gear 5 form with that X super, obviously you have to run uh, 3 of those units which is a bit of a hassle but if you can fulfill that, super boss is going to get to insane numbers, uh, I'm super interested to see what people can do with this unit. His crewman abilities are going to bo uh, boost your crew's base stats by 150 and also make Psy and recovery orbs matching. Wow, I think that's one of the best crewmate abilities in the game. Uh, that's You'd usually expect these to be over two crewmate abilities, but this is just one of them. And then his second one is going to state that he himself can evade paralysis. You never really care about that crewmate ability. Um, but this first one here is really good base stats. 150 for the entire crew and then also um, making those two orbs beneficial. So pretty nice crewmate abilities from Luffy. Finally, let's talk about his rush mechanic, which is the only thing I think is a bit weird because I do think Sanji's rush is better than Luffy's. So let's get into it and Luffy's rush maxing out at 5 obviously as usual. So the activation requirement is that you have to be at the final battle as usual and then if you are in gear 5 or when uh, he performs the 6th tap of an attack. So. What he does is he's going to reduce HP by a certain amount, similarly to how you use Sanji. So every tap you lose a teeny bit of HP. As the rush tap connects, cumulatively boost the chain and boost the attack of the finish tap of attack of the character up to a 6 boost in the chain and also a 2.6x rush attack boost. So basically, um, your chain growth rate is gradually increasing after every rush tap and also you get a rush attack boost that is gradually going to go up as you tap more so basically um how this overall how the rush works is that you, the, on the first rush tap it's going to be a very weak chain growth rate boost and also a very weak uh, rush attack boost and then on the final tap it's going to be a very very big uh, 2.6x rush attack boost and 0.6x uh, 0.6 boost in the chain so it's a bit weird to wrap your, hand, or wrap your head around but it's pretty strong but I do believe Sanji is a bit better than this Luffy um, it's still a very strong ability but you have to consider that most people only have this at the uh, level 1 which is in which case it's going to be a 2.1x uh, rush attack boost instead of a 2.5x I'm pretty sure the chain boost stays the exact same no matter what level you're at just the change in the rush attack boost. So pretty, uh, pretty good uh, rush ability. Not terrible, but I still think Sanji's a bit better. I'm not gonna go through his rumble abilities, but that's Gear Five Luffy. He set a new standard in Wabi Surf Cruise in terms of power, and also he has crazy utility that is super unique to this character. I can't wait to see what this guy is in content, especially Super Boss. He will be a beast that is basically required on a lot of teams. So I hope I can pull this guy. You guys should all be pulling towards this unit. Don't waste your time on Mamanasuke since he isn't, isn't a Super Sugo Fist unit. So only focus on Luffy since he is. And uh, that's going to be it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed If you want to talk about the unit himself, if you have any uh, quarrel qualms with this unit in particular, then comment down below. But for, uh, that's going to be it for the video. Peace, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.